vampire stereotypes, ripping heads, and CGI babies, we saw Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. So you know what that means. Now it's time for... Hello, people of Earth, and welcome to How Did This Get Made, a very special Twilight edition. Uh, I am joined, as always, by Jason Manzukis. What's happening? Unfortunately, June uh, is not here today because she is shooting Burning Love, and uh, she could not get out of that, but you can watch that in January, and it'll be all worth it. But we, but we pro- will have to try and make up for her loss by, by espousing uh, ardent feminist beliefs and believing the best of Bella. I know, and that's the thing that I'm really bummed out about. <laughs> On the way over here, I was bummed out about it. But we did bring back, as promised, Doug Benson. Welcome, Doug. Hey, everybody. To uh. talk about this movie, and, uh, <laughs> and before we started recording we, I'm we very agreed. what's that we, we agreed before we started talking about this movie if you have not seen it if you have any intention of seeing it stop this right now hold it on your iPod see it and then listen to us talk about it because we are going to spoil we're it. gonna spoil yeah everything. even if you're gonna see it like as a joke even yes. if you're gonna go and laugh at it yeah because that's what I kind of went for and I was pleasantly surprised was that there too. were that there me were too. plot twists that yeah. were actually interesting to me. I, w- I, I would it. also say I would also <laughs> I say <laughs> go back. <laughs> I kind of did too. This is it's again crazy but fun. This yeah. is again. I cried at a movie that we are doing. Oh, oh, that is a moment wait. I teared oh up at. Gosh. Moment I teared up at. Oh my but, gosh! Well, tell I, us when we get to. I will. It. I will. I would I also. Didn't, I didn't find it tear upable. I, there was a moment where I was like, "Wait, what? Oh God!" But I will say you should also go back and listen to our Twilight Breaking Dawn part one podcast yes. that also featured Doug on it so that you really get the full <laughs> scope of Twilight Breaking Dawn. We have broken down these four hours. We have broken down Breaking Dawn. Breaking Dawn, Breaking Dawn. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just start off by basically saying, I like that out of every Twilight movie I've seen, which is only, I think, three of them, I like this it's one Numero the uno. Yeah. And it makes great. me want to go back and pick up the pieces that, no. I, that I've missed. <laughs> See, you are wrong. They'll be bad. This, They'll this be movie. bad, but it's still... It's do like you not remember part to... one in like but like Bahamas Fuckfest? I do remember. Bahamas? Oh, part one of Breaking Part God, one yeah. of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wherever they were, where they were just like... It was just about like hanging out in a vacation oh. house and playing chess. Come on. Look, there's a lot of moments of slow times. I was happy to see that their love of chess... Vampires love chess, apparently, because they play uh, chess. Uh, this time, people are playing chess while other people are sitting around just watching them and play guys, chess. guys, did you notice that the final battle looks like a chess board? Yes, on white guys! and black. I didn't even notice what? that! Vampires <laughs> love a game I was of too patience. busy going, this is an awesome battle scene. <laughs> yeah, the battle scene like, was amazing. If, if in the first movie they'd say, they had said five movies later, there's going to be an awesome <laughs> battle scene that you'll appreciate even more if you sit through the first yes. four hours, I might have been well, more he, enthusiastic nope. about the first Are I mean, you kidding? Those movies, movies are terrible. Yeah, the first half of this movie is literally garbage. Oh, I enjoyed a lot it's of It's really fun it's, garbage. I laughed out loud so much in the second half of this movie. But basically, it's still, I mean, we're going to just, we're jumping into it. So we can say. Let's just go. Yeah, we'll just go. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. There's a Lots baby. Lots of spoilers. Lo- um, okay, this fucking and baby. Off heads. This baby in this movie is like a CGI baby. I don't understand why. I thought it was like the E-Trade baby. I, I think I figured people. out why. Okay. Okay, because I was flummoxed. I was like, why is the baby CGI? I mean, at every and level, even as a like a, a, ba- a, a newborn. A baby, a newborn to toddler to it finally becomes a real baby when she settles in at about seven years old, yes. right? Okay, what I think they did was they CGI'd... It's finally a real baby they when she's CGI'd, seven. Yes, exactly. It's a real, it's a real actress. Um, they CGI'd her to look like that child actress. So they CGI'd the baby and the like the toddler baby yes. to look like that little girl. Well, now you see, I had which that... Which is bananas. Because I had that thought and I thought, do they have an actual baby on set and they put like a little green bag over a baby's head? Is that, I think they did. Because they really had no, a baby. they could have yes. just held... I mean, the whole thing could be fake. Yes, no. Yes. no! No, 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 <laughs> you no, think no. Did real... they have no, real no, no, wolves no. on the set? Because I looked yes. at it. I looked at it. <laughs> Rob Pattinson is holding... 
a baby. He's mm. clearly holding he's a baby. He's clearly got a baby's yes. genitals he's, in his he hands. He does. He's, in that scene where he walks in, to, he introduces the baby to Not Quite Tom Skerritt. Yes. And he says, hey, Not Quite Tom Skerritt, here is our baby. And he's clearly holding a baby. I was like, that's definitely a baby he's holding, except that the face is CGI, a which little... is creepy. I'll tell you why it's CGI, though. Okay. Oh, I... Because the baby, like, they can't get that kind of acting out of a baby. The baby <laughs> wasn't doing anything. The baby, the baby wasn't doing no, anything. No, seriously, the baby's, like, very intently staring at whatever whatever person it's dealing with. Uh, okay. And then that weird thing it does, and yep. then she keeps doing it. We should say that we sound, we we end the movie sound crazy already. Yeah. When you're a half 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 vampire, half human baby, yes. apparently <laughs> apparently you totally fucking Benjamin Button, yes. and it was you to- age re- re- really quick yes. Here, here's another just talking about cgi i watched <laughs> some stuff online last night this movie porno is, uh, yes was it porn a lot of porno i watched the be real footage of this movie like on the twilight the, page. wait the be real the be, uh, the be <laughs> what is it called be real b-roll, right? b-roll sorry uh, be real isn't be real an act uh, yeah. a rapper <laughs> yeah be real from be cypress real. hill narrating <laughs> clips from twilight, twilight. so i watched b-roll footage of uh of twilight now this movie is it is insane one of, in the membrane yeah it's <laughs> This movie is arguably one of the most successful films. Makes so much money. The CGI looks so it's garbage. It's uh, yeah, it's not good. They, it's clearly a, they, a I, rush job. I believe they are like it does not matter. These kids will come. The, the director it is have not to look great. David but, Fincher, yes. who is all about making yes, it look authenticity amazing. and seamlessness. But I, but then I started to realize on the B roll footage that everything is CGI. Yep. Like when they're in the house, the that's snow. not a real house. It's yeah, the snow is yep. CGI. Every like everything yeah, they that you just even stood around on green screens. Yeah, everywhere, everything. everywhere everything. is is set, is f- between three and fourteen people standing in front of green screen is what this entire movie is. If you look at this B roll footage, you'll be like, "This is the most unimpressive, <laughs> sad thing." It looks like a community theater production because the costumes look way worse in front of a oh, green yeah. screen. Everybody looks worse. Um, uh, we should start <laughs> just start a little bit from the top. Uh, oh, when, do we need to recap? We don't need like, to recap. Wise? I just want to talk it's, about moments. There's but, so many little amazing moments in the beginning. Oh like, my god! First of all, just the fact that they have to stand around saying Renesme over and over Renesmee. again. That, that, that's the kid's I name. I could not. I could not. I kept trying to make a note of the kid's name, and I was like, "What are they saying?" I'll never be able to say Renesme. I thought because it's a hard name to remember. <laughs> a, Why was it even named Re- Renesme? Why was it even named? Because Renesmee? it isn't it because it have human have vampires not real <laughs> because there's someone because I, I saw this in the end credits okay which are awesome, awesome end credits yes, oh my god end credits it's they like, are like just... the opening titles of a soap opera yes, yes. it's slow it motion is. shots uh, of each character exactly all the way back to the first like, movie like a telenovela people that had two yeah. lines yes. a girl that never had a line yes. was only in the last movie is it's featured great. in that part you see like you see the whole it's like in all... memoriam <laughs> yeah. I, I was wishing the audience that we saw I saw was in the same theater with Paul but we sat away from each other yes. so we're not like by the way three two guys dudes, going to see this together with no, no three women three dudes all sitting by themselves at Twilight Screenings on opening weekend <laughs> super creepy yeah. I had a notepad in front of me yep. too like a scribbling yeah yeah note. I was scribbling down notes on a piece of <laughs> I, paper I tried to get into the theater and it had already started uh, but and they and at the arc light they were like well we don't really let people in I was like well I'm reviewing it for a podcast and I so <laughs> and I, they like, said okay then, then they let me in but I was like <laughs> this is hilarious like I am now being like I am the single man trying to see a noon showing of Twilight Breaking Dawn and have to explain myself. Oh my God! That I, one we were at last night. Yeah. There was the hard, hard. There was no young teenage girls to speak of. No, but there was a lot of. You like, sound disappointed. Um, no. <laughs> Where were the teenage girls? I was promised there were a Why? lot of women. Why do you there think were a lot I of agree women. To this? I feel like that the the Sunday night screening was a lot more of like. 30 year old women oh right? yeah and a lot of the yeah. are, are you doing the uh, like, just, ribbing each other the whole time oh, oh, because I, there were some good laughs, laughs in there yeah. yes there were some good I laughs I think I got a laugh because I laughed so hard at one point <laughs> I laughed so hard at the end <laughs> My, well, the, the, I just want the one thing I want to point out in the beginning is you know obviously Bella when we last left her was turned into a vampire so now we're seeing her and she looks beautiful and you know she's right there and you know she's like has this power super hugs she can give really strong yeah, hugs she, that's she, did you she I didn't get in touch I, I, 
strong hug. Yeah, yeah. So she goes to hug uh, Robert Pattinson, and it does that whoop noise they yeah. do whenever they move around sure, fast. Yeah. Yeah. It does the whoop noise, yeah. and then he's like, all, oh, "Oh, you're stronger than me now, Bella. Please let go." <laughs> it's and such it's, a t- <laughs> it's awesome. Was, by the way, it's I like would, Bella is finally you know in control. She like it's so has bad. Power. That it's terrible that June isn't here. I would love that. I love that impression because it's <laughs> basically Edward as Droopy Dog. Uh, oh, please don't <laughs> hug me. You're so strong, Bella. <laughs> we can't let you hold Renez May. <laughs> but I do. You'll squeeze her to death. <laughs> I just love that that's how her first moment of power is just power hugs. But, uh, poof, poof, poof. She, and when she tries to sit in the chair, they're like, why don't oh. you just go sit in the chair? And she like, Shh, she poof. speeds over and knocks the chair down. It's like, boom. Does everyone in this movie, <laughs> boom. these these people, these vampires are running. But they slowly walk 90. across the snow. By the way. They have to take airplane flights and, and they have to drive, drive cars. cars. Like they could have made, they, they could have done so much. If they, if they just ran to Brazil, ran to Alaska, ah. they drive and fly everywhere that they simply don't need to. They can go so quickly. Um, And also my big issue is. Why are they need like Edward is wearing like at one point like a winter jacket and like a turtleneck? I was like, yeah, they always have man, tons of clothes you, on. Yeah. Why do you have to wear all these clothes? Yeah. They try to imply that Alice is a real you know fashionista. Well, like, I buy it for her clothes at least. horse. Yeah, but they like push it on everybody because they're all quite fashionable. Edward's wearing like you know is wearing a pea coat and a and oh a, yeah and a oh, turtleneck. This they is, always look natty. Yeah. They, they oh they are fantastically dressed. I'll be honest, like I would take the entire wardrobe from the um, Alistair character. Or yeah. the guy that sits stands up in the tree, yes, like yes. the guy who's like, "You guys are fucked," basically. Yes, who then disappears and never comes back. Yeah, Alistair. I thought he really was gonna Han Solo that. Nope, no. I that, thought he was gonna like he leaves, like you guys are fucked. He walks away, and I full blown expected he was going to arrive, Han Solo, and save the day. Nope, never no, heard from yeah. him. That's the good thing about this movie. Pe- people people don't are come back. disposable, but they don't need a, a and, Han Solo. Yeah, they don't. With the plot twist that occurs. Oh, I love oh, this God. plot twist. <laughs> uh, we'll get to it. Uh, the, the other thing I wanted to talk about at the beginning with you may have missed Jason too was literally her uh, I always said literally I already broke it um, basically Bella oh, and said Edward literally already oh, like you, five oh, times oh good <laughs> <laughs> Bella and Edward like are hugging and she's like oh you know you're a vampire we're vampires and he goes oh well, now we gotta get your thirst under control and it's as if on cue she touches her throat and she's like Oh yeah, yeah. That I'm reminds on. me, <laughs> yeah, I am thirsty for blood. <laughs> it was crazy. Like I was, was thirsty for hugs, <laughs> and now <laughs> I've quickly transitioned into thirsty for blood. And so she goes My running. She goes running quenched. out. <laughs> she goes running out into the forest, right? <laughs> yes. And she and with no. him in her in her stead. He comes with her. And now I don't understand why they need to like stalk animals. They're fucking super fast. Just fucking speed over. Yeah. Kill a deer, but they're, uh, they're like hunting like hunting. Hunters on the Discovery Channel show, like they're like creeping around rocks and looking at the deer. It's like, come on, man, just fucking if, power through. It, it. I firmly believe that if they did everything in this movie as fast as they are capable of doing yes. things, the movie would be 40 minutes long. It would be so over. <laughs> the movie would so be much instantaneously over because, because there is there's so, so much, much slow walking, walking across yes. the, the snowy totally, field. Totally. There is a they scene. They just cruise across it so slow. There is a scene where she drives to Seattle to meet um, Bunk the from wire, The Wire. The Bunk Wire. The Wire. To meet so Bunk psyched. from The Wire. That is, there's nothing that happens in this scene. She has to drive Walk, sit, drive again. Like there's, it's they're making a meal out of the littlest oh, things yeah. just to pad this movie. And it's so funny though when Bunk he has that one scene, and yeah. then when he shows up in the end titles, it's yeah. just the weirdest. Like, oh, there's one black guy yep. in the entire Twilight series, and oh, he had one scene about, in the last movie. Don't forget about the two African uh, the oh, tribesmen, the vampire, tri- the, the tribal girls. girls. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah the tribal are, girls they, in like Amazonian uh, yeah. garb. The 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 wardrobing for all it was. It's United. It's basically United Colors of Benetton. Yes, as for, as a Twilight movie, every, it's like every my. Minority is represented. Every country and culture is represented in the most in, stereotypical fashion. Yes, in the most stereotypical garb for whatever country they're from. Like when when they are Amazonian princesses show up, they are in crazy fucking native garb. When, native, like, American a native American, American- <laughs> loincloth, fucking <laughs> classic style. He does the hand solo at the end. Oh, he kind does of. do it. Yeah, yeah. It but is, he's in the most. He's wearing nothing. It's and ridiculous. he's walking across the snow. Uh, uh, yes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is the big, happening? By the way, Why can't a, they all just wear nothing I or mean, shorts and t-shirts? <laughs> they just love wearing <laughs> pants and jackets. Oh my god! Talking about pants and jackets and things that are useless. They, so now, Edward, Kellen Lutz. 
Who is Kellen Mond? <laughs> I know that people talk about him. Who is he playing? He's the movie? big bulky guy. That's yeah. him with that's, dark hair. Yes, that's Kellen Lutz. Yeah, there's that he commercial. Looks so different. There's that commercial where uh, they they're uh, trying to outdo each other. Two guys and uh, they keep getting things for this girl to get right. her to impress her. And the one guy gets her Kellen Lutz, and then oh. he he walks it. He moves in on it, and, uh, and that's the the gag at the end yeah. of the commercial is Kellen Lutz is gonna score with his lady now. And uh, <laughs> and every time I saw the commercial, I was like. Oh, he must be like some athlete or something. Yeah. Or, nope. No, Twilight. he's in the Twilight yeah. movies. Yep. I had no idea. Yeah. I like he's Kellen Emmett. Lutz. Hi, I'm Emmett. <laughs> and why does he have to have big fr- B- Bella when she's now that she's a vampire yeah. is super crazy strong and can beat him? Oh yeah, can arm beat Emmett in arm wrestling on a rock, well, and then she smashes the rock. That's what I was gonna like, ask. Was there something? Why does he, in he the have to have big muscles? That, yeah. Was there something in the beginning that I missed, which is he, why she is so much instantly stronger than everybody? You know what? Because she's they, new. She's, she's new. new, so she still has like all the height. Is of that her why power. she and Edward have like a, a bone zone? Okay, like, um, let's a, talk about this marathon. Fun. They had this sex marathon. There. She says, you know, they, they finally are both able to really Let have loose. sex. Yeah. It is the most slow paced, yeah. like, sex scene that you will ever and see. Yeah, it's Every... not two people that are capable of tearing each no. other limb from no. limb. It's just tender. They, well, they rip each like other's shirts. Sure. They rip each other's shirts, but then it is tender love. He making. rips her shirt in the back. He yeah. rips her shirt in the back. Yeah. Because that's what dudes do. I can't wait to get to that back. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to get my hands oh. on her, oh, on I her wanna, naked I wanna back. See her. I want to see her. I want to rip her clothes open to uh, uh, for a part of her body that I cannot see. Uh. He can't see. He couldn't see it even if there yeah. was a mirror in the yeah. room. Exactly. Which he, he couldn't use. They couldn't use. They couldn't it use. It doesn't use. matter. It doesn't matter. Mirrors are there are any irrelevant. mirrors in the house? No. Why would no. there oh, be? They're the vampires. Way, the fuck house? Why, why have couches and beds? Let's even go back a second. They don't have to sleep or sit down. That's what she says. She says, why do we need Why it? Why do we need it? It's, it's, not, for, it's not for sleeping. It's for fucking while our and baby's it, in the other exactly. room. Exactly. And it basically, is. they go on, like, they basically talk about how vampires will fuck for days, even decades. decades. Yeah. They will just fuck. And then she's like, I knew you were holding back. It's like, really? It looked like the slow, it was you know slow what was, and it was, steady. What I thought, thought was really fascinating about, I felt like in order to have their crazy sex scene. Yeah. They had to, and again, Bella is like 18 years old. Sure. You know, Bella is in this narrative, like an 18 year old person. 19 ish, yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah, they she have turned to, 18 in the last movie, yes. so this is now 19 because you had They have birthday. to constantly show, like, every fifth shot in the sex scene is of their them and their wedding rings. Ah. Is their hands intertwined with their wedding rings? So, they're constantly, while they're showing you sex, they're saying, but it's marriage, it's, it's in marriage. marriage. Like, it's there's such a weird, you know, like, the books are super Mormon and yes. Christian. By the way, did you know that the, uh, the first public sighting of Mitt Romney was at the Twilight? Screening this weekend. Really? Yeah, someone caught yes. him. Why would, him go, why would he go see that? Why would they go see in that? In LA, he was in LA seeing Twilight. What? It was on TMZ. That it's, would be the best celebrity sighting <laughs> ever. Mitt Romney at the. And no Twilight. Secret Service anymore. None. Sorry. We, we don't have to go sit through your shitty <laughs> taste in movies. Oh. <laughs> That's what he wants to see. He's been. He could have seen Argo. He could have seen Skyfall. <laughs> he saw Twilight. Maybe he heard how wholesome it was. But that's what's amazing to me is that it got the PG thirteen. Obviously. Oh yeah. So the sex scene is like there's no nudity and, there's no blood. and you see in talk shows Kristen Stewart and uh, the, and what's his name uh, our Pattinson. Pattinson our Pats they complain about like you know we would have been we would have gone for it but it's got to be PG thirteen so you got to position everything just right they have those. Uh, kinds right. Kind of talks make on TV. A hardcore fuck movie, though. Yeah, two. but it's amazing that <laughs> that they go to all that trouble to get the PG thirteen on that front. But then on the violence front, you oh, can have the, a gazillion decapitations. You can have this movie. The violence Upwards in this movie are amazing. Upwards of 15 people's like, heads get ripped off. Maybe Why? Mitt Romney heard that part <laughs> of it. Maybe he heard how violent it was because I was digging how violent oh, it is. I yeah. was laughing because I felt so joyous. I was like, I haven't seen a movie this violent in forever. It's it was so crazy callous. violent. But, um, it's, but they're all monsters. Yes. yes. They're all so. not people. They except were people. For, except for when they kill except, people. Yeah. <laughs> except for when they kill people. And you're like, these are our, like, leave. Pace is introduced as like one of the good guys. Yeah. He is introduced while he is killing a human. Yeah. Just like he's just killing a dude like, for whistling know, a British song. Exactly. Yeah. He's just like, I, I hated the British bit. invasion. Roar! Like, <laughs> and then they're like, hey, you gotta come help us with this with these other bad vampires. And he's like, I will help you, but first let me finish my, my meal. meal. And then he eats that fucking guy. Can I just I wanna go? And back. he's a good guy. Good guy. He's a hey, look, he's a vampire. He doesn't have his thirst under control. <laughs> Here's the one thing I do want to talk about. Where Bella and Edward are waiting at their house. Oh, God. And Bella. then all of a sudden, all the vampires come walking in and they go, oh, finally. 
<laughs> and now, am I to believe that these vampires built them a fuck house? Like, I mean, they built them a house. They have a house that they immediately, they immediately as soon as they get they the house that that's full of, the closet is full of clothes. Yes. Well, that's, yeah. that's for the teenage girl. Yeah, Shelves such are clothes books. Born. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, what? The books, though, the books pay off. The books do pay oh, off. The books pay off. But, I mean, but they, they built that house. I mean, I don't understand. Like, they built that we house. We got you a house out here in the woods that looks beautiful and it's right near where everybody else lives. And then, but now here's the thing that I was most confused <laughs> about. They go there. They have their fuck session. They come back the next day and they go, okay, so we're leaving Yeah, town. we got to get out of town. Wait, why did they build that house then? Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. basically why built it so for a one night stand. Yeah. yeah, just give them one of the rooms well, in the house yeah. you already have. And now, give but them then, a hotel room. So now, but that, but that, that, that's, just, that's what's what, one of the crazy things about this movie is then they're like, okay, so we got to get out of town because we have to tell everybody that Belle is dead. Yeah. And then Jacob is just like, all right, leaves the house, goes to not quite Tom Scarrett, and is like, yeah. hey, Belle is still yeah. alive, blah, blah, blah. There's a daughter, oh, wait a blah, second. blah, blah. Wait, wait, this is the best scene in the whole movie. <laughs> this is the best okay. scene in the whole like, movie. It happens so it's early like, on. It's, it's like, so nuts. Okay, so, so early. So Taylor First Lutner. of all, just so you know, okay. <laughs> just so you know, um, this is just, uh, just before we get into it, um, the last time we saw Taylor Lautner's character, he imprinted with Renesme, and which basically means the, he has to be with her twenty four seven. He He's basically, like a bodyguard. yeah, he basically like the, the, the baby like belongs to him in some weird so way. So he is now in this weird. Why three-way. aren't all the other wolves in the movie? Why don't they have some child that they're near all the time or person that I they're near they imprint, all the time? They may have imprinted. You on can another imprint wolf. and then part time imprint. Or I think that he just imprinted with the wrong person. He should have imprinted with, with a an wolf. animal. Yes. He accidentally imprinted with a, a baby. But I don't want to distract us from this amazing. Okay, it's scene. really good. So, so in order to not have. Bella have to leave. Yes. Um, <laughs> he's such a, this is such a bitch move that he pulls. Oh, yes. yes. Taylor Lautner. I hate his character. Oh, oh my he's God. The he's worst. the worst. <laughs> Taylor Lautner <laughs> rides his mo- He is literally the worst. Ugh. He is a pile of garbage in this movie. Yeah, yes. Every step of the way, he's always saying he is, something snotty yes. or sm- smirky yeah, like, or like, bitchy like, or vampire. Or, or, like, or, or like, sit, what are we doing? We're sitting around telling battle stories. Yeah. yeah. I was like, you've never been in battle, you dumb dildo. Like, what are you talking but about? But how great was it when Bella just beat the shit out oh, of yeah, him? Oh yeah, that was good. But I found okay. it. He's like wolf he's out. like they treat him like he's the comedic voice of the movie. Yeah. Like he's got all like the funny hilarious. Clips, and it's just like, shut up. You <laughs> don't <laughs> you don't even belong here. <laughs> like <laughs> Okay, say this part because I got more, yeah, more right. later than So yeah. he he's like because they're gonna tell um, not Tom Scarrett that yes. Bella is dead. Bella's dead. Yes. Yeah, they're gonna say Bella's dead because Tom Scarrett knew, not Tom Scarrett knew yeah. <laughs> that she was sick from uh, uh, breaking but, down part yeah, one. He doesn't understand what like she's. He, he, he doesn't know anything about vampires. Yes. He doesn't know anything. He, he knows, doesn't know shit. He doesn't know. He doesn't jack even know shit. that she yeah. was pregnant. Right. And Jacob's like. Uh, Jacob's like he doesn't want her to leave town. Right. Yes. So Jacob goes or, to or her. Goes to Tom Scarrett and says, "Listen, Belle is fine, but she had to change in order to be fine." And and not Tom Scarrett's like, "I don't know what you mean." And he's like, "You don't understand the world you're living in." At which point, Jacob starts to disrobe. I wrote, I wrote down that exact sentence. You don't understand the world you're living. <laughs> Yes. Because I lost my mind in the theater when he <laughs> said oh, that laughing. I did it too. was amazing. Because he's taking his clothes off then while he's slowly, saying it. Slowly takes off his shirt. Everyone in the theater goes nuts because you gotta see those abs. Oh and, god. And and he's like, and then and and then at first, not Tom Scarrett's like, whoa, hey, hey, <laughs> what what's happening like here, man? The, the, the only assumption is that something gay is happening. Like <laughs> the only way not Tom Scarrett can process this series of events is, oh, Jacob, who I've known since a boy, since he was a boy, is about to try and have sex with me. Wait a second, I have to say that <laughs> Jacob did not do a good job of like saying, "Hey, I'm not going to rape you now, Tom yeah, Scarrett." Yeah. He kind of was seductive yes. and taking yeah. off his clothes. Yeah, he's oh, like, yeah. "I'm going to, sh- I got something for you, buddy, yeah, that sexual. you are going to really and, like." And then he pulls down his pants, and it, like, here's the thing: he turns into a wolf when he's wearing pants all the time. Yes. Why does he have to get completely naked yeah. this time? The one time, the rest the of the movie, he's whenever he switches, dude. clothes are gone instantly. And, yeah. And Meanwhile, and this time he pulls the pants down to his ankles, yes. and it's not a wolf with pants around his ankles yeah. when he turns into the wolf. It's a wolf. Yeah, he's no gonna, pants. He's still going to rip those pants. I'm going to say that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to still say that. Char- uh, not Tom Scarrett. Um, at first, he's like, oh, "Come on, Billy Burke is Billy, yeah, name. Billy Burke." He's like, "Come on, man, <laughs> come on, man." He'll uh, always be not Tom Scarrett. To he's me. like, "Come on, man, don't uh, yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing?" And then like. He stops protesting a little bit, and he's like, "All right, what do you got? Where's like, this going?" Like he was, he's like, yeah. "All right, I'm in." Like, wait a second, like he he stopped protesting pretty early on when the pants came down. He's like, "All right, well, I'm in for this." And then I'm in Jacob to see. turns into a wolf in front of him, and he is to say 
not really that impressed. Like not he he, he he's he, scared. He's down he's on the ground. Little, but then they cut immediately he, he, yeah, to, the to house. Jacob back with Bella and Edward going. Yeah, I just told him you were different now. Yeah, and he's coming That's over. That's the explanation. And he'll be yeah. here in ten minutes. She and disappeared he'll be here for a while. Minutes. She, uh, you know, and by the may way, or may not have had a baby. And by the way, what was his plan? His plan was. Uh, she's different. She's not like me. I'm a werewolf, but she's different. She's another thing, thing. <laughs> that you don't have to worry yourself about. Yeah. Don't be concerned at all for another waking moment of your about goddamn your 18 life. Year about old daughter. your 18 year old daughter who just married a pale weirdo <laughs> and, and like vanished for a little while and you thought she might be dead. And when the guy, and when Jacob shows up, He's like, oh no, this is it. He's come yes. to yes. tell me that he's dead. And yes. then he starts taking his pants off yes. Yes. without having told him what's going on with and his then, daughter. But then he turns into a wolf. <laughs> yes. Wait, guys. He then, okay. The minute, he's the sheriff, right? The minute Tom yes. Scarrett is like, not the Tom minute Tom Scarrett, Scarrett is the, the sheriff. minute not Tom is like, uh, okay, my daughter's okay. Everything should be trumped by the fact that that kid just turned yes. into a wolf. I want to At go that like, point, your world is destroyed. I, I, what are yeah. you talking he goes about? On a and the rest turns of them, into a wolf. He goes on the a rest of the movie. Trip. He's like, there's something up with every all these other people. Yeah, he's, but, not, uh, con- he's not overly concerned because I feel like there was a scene cut out where like he turns into a wolf. Had to they be. have that thing, and then they Taylor Lautner and him have coffee. And he's like, what, what the, the fuck? Because they. So later on in the movie, when the girl is, when the daughter's rapidly aging, yeah. they bring her over to visit, and they, he doesn't even say the typical thing that a, that a grandfather would say, like, oh, you're growing so fast, yeah. or anything. He's just like, well, looks like she aged a few years in yeah. a couple of days. <laughs> he's like, and then he, he doesn't even comment on it. There's got to be missing scenes. There he has is, to be. No, he is you a, know what it is? <laughs> it's all covered. I think it's all covered by her saying, Bella saying, there are things you, you don't, don't know, need to know, but you, I, you, I'll tell you what you need to know. Yeah. So he kind of has a couple he's lines. Need goes, to know with his daughter. Goes, I guess I don't need to know about this. About he, why the girl's eyes look like Bella's eyes. And why yes. it's a crazy special effects baby. I feel like Billy Bush should just turn to the camera and just go, eh, all right. Billy, like he he like, kind of does. Oh, Billy his Burke, character, yeah. Billy, yeah. His character I would like it if it was Billy Bush. Bush. <laughs> oh, by the way, I do want to say that he, I think he's just a bad father in general. Oh, because, boy. Because at one Taking point. Taking him to task. I'm going to take him to task because they go, your father's worried about you. He's been calling twice a day. Yeah. If your daughter was missing for arguably like oh, over two weeks like, and you're the sheriff of the town, just two phone calls. Well, just call those drive weirdos over. Again. How give about the, drive there? No, nah, I'm going to give him a call in the morning, a call at night, just check seemed, it. it. It is, I find the, the, um, I he, find he's it the so sheriff. strange. He's the sheriff of the town and yeah. his daughter's missing. He I just makes it, a couple calls. Yeah. Just, just not even a couple. To just cell two phone. a day. Just I find two it a day so like strange enough. to me he that me a he text. so easily allows for her to not just be taken away from him. She's 18. But like, like she is legitimately subsumed into this family and he is cut out. Like yeah. the, the lessons of this movie are so bizarre and anti-family while being so pro-family about like the Cullens and the vampire family. Yeah. But it is about the destruction of the nuclear family essentially. Well, yeah. It's crazy how much her, Bella's mother and father are marginalized so she can be robbed of her human soul and turned into an immortal monster she by the people that were supposed to be like, that's a real family. She, by the way, she doesn't have any care to tell her mom that she's changed either. I know her mom's in a different spot. Wait, with was like, her mom in this movie at all? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. She doesn't even mention. She's like, in oh, the I end should... credits. She oh is. yeah, she's in the. She is in the end. Well, that's face. why I asked. I was like, was yeah. there a scene early on with the mom? No. 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 Not Tim. Tom Skerritt's. You know, he's shacked up with. Uh, yeah, with, uh, with that, the, that other woman, uh, the Native American lady, who's yes. not a wolf. Is she a wolf or not a wolf? I don't know. I can't oh, remember. Yeah, is I, not Tom Skerritt with not a wolf? I think women are not wolves in this world. Right? I can't believe not Tom Skerritt's girlfriend didn't tell him about the wolf thing. Well, no, but I don't think that she knows. But she'd at least know that, she knows that there's the wolves half in the of neighborhood. Her, oh, she yeah. must know that her other Maybe tribesmen that's it. Maybe are Maybe she yeah. just explained it to him. Like, he's a wolf. Hey, and hey, and don't worry about what Belle is. She looks fine. She's like, probably a vampire. She gives nice, what? strong hugs and now. That, 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 like, he's that. never. By the way, Tom's not Tom Skerritt is never told she's a vampire. No. Never. No, she's just something different. And also, they they do a terrible job of storytelling in this movie because they're because Bella at one point is like, if he knows, then the Voltari will come for him. And I was like, ooh, I bet that's gonna happen. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Well, Voltari they, never they, come for. Well, Charlie. you know why? Because they send him on a five day fishing trip. They can't. Come oh from, right. They can't oh, figure it out. They can't figure out that he's on this five day fishing trip. Hey, get out of town when all the vampires come here to go crazy. Um, 
All right. It's so this movie we're making it sound <laughs> even crazier because we're jumping around so much. No, yeah. it is this crazy. It In is. Fact, it, it is. is this crazy. But we're switching the order around. We are That's moving. Fine. Uh, I don't mind. Can we talk about Game of Thrones? The Game of Thrones baby. That whole sequence where. So oh my god. Yes. So Bella has this baby, and 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 the Voltari think that the okay, baby. Okay, the Voltari are the bad guys. They're yeah, Martin and it's called Volturi. And oh, they Volturi. Think, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Voltroni, B rolls, and they think <laughs> B reels. They uh, they think that this baby is uh, immortal, an immortal yes. child. Yeah, they yes. just assume that he cha- that he turned Bella first and then had the child. Even though this guy Arrow can sit around and know everything that's happening with everybody's mind all over yes. the world, he still has these misconceptions. Yeah. By the way, which can be cleared up with a phone call, yeah. or a hand touch, hey, or hey. anything. You, you, like, I heard you guys. Do you guys have an immortal child over there? No, nope, no. we don't. Okay. okay. Cool. Great. I was going to kind of round up all the vampires and come and tell you. Okay, we'll do that. All right, okay, yeah. but the explanation of an immortal child is just a a, to- a toddler that has turned into a vampire. And because the toddler has no which It's sense just of, a, t- it's it's a toddler. It's just it's hungry no for blood. Yeah. It is, they are just killing machines. Which basically blows out of the water the whole Kristen Dunst and interview with a vampire thing. Because remember, yep. you know, she was so young and lovely and she was a vampire. But they're saying the kids can't handle it. In this yeah, and, they, and so you know, they have to. You know, she won an Academy to... Award for that. No, she she did. Didn't she? No. <laughs> and then, she might have been nominated. But I then, think she was nominated for yeah, the Academy she didn't Award win for that role. Because they never say, you never see Academy that's Award true, winner. That's true. Kristen yeah, 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 that's true. But, uh, <laughs> but then when this happens with the did child. Did you see it for Anna Paquin, though? <laughs> she won. She yeah, but when, for the she, piano. Yeah, if you she, saw her in a movie, like when they say Fly Anna, Away yeah, Home came out, they probably said Academy Award winner. When, <laughs> They take it away from you after you turn 20. If you get it when you're a yeah, kid, it doesn't true. count anymore. Yeah, it reboots. You, yeah, you yeah. kind of fell into it. Sorry, Doug, go ahead. That's okay. I don't know what I was talking We're about. We're talking about the Game of Thrones, the baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. when a baby th- is terrorizing its village, which yeah. that's a cr- crazy awesome concept to me. I love that. That the baby could terrorize the village. Then they have to they just have to destroy vampire babies. One of the only blood us. scenes, in the, one of the only scenes that has blood in this movie yes. is actually really effective, which is like a shot that cranes down on just fire and like bodies yes. in its, in it's yeah. Game village. Of All the bodies this baby yes. has killed. And then a baby, like a child, like a two-year-old comes into frame like a little blonde boy with big eyes and blood, blood around his mouth. mouth. And I was like, ooh, that's and, great. Yeah, and, this, and then they kill his mother. Yep. And then they kill him. And they kill they him. They set him on fire. But also, by the way, we he's find killed. Out. He's killed all these people. But during the whole scene where they're arguing about what to do with him, yeah. he's just being held by somebody in their by arms Dakota and, by yeah. Dakota Fanning. And he's like just sitting there, not doing he's, anything. Yeah. Like they're not, talking about killing him because he's not. He does not. He doesn't get it. He's a baby. Problem with the baby. They just want. Blood. Oh, he's they probably go. full. Yeah, he's full. He's probably he's full not, at that moment. Well, he's, he's not even. He's not going to attack the vampires. He's not going to feed on vampires. Well, that's true. They, you know, you think he'd still be physically out of control and not. Not easy to just stand around and hold Maybe. while, while I mean, debating look, his future. When Bella smelt that hiker who was hiking up the mountain, which you did not see, Jason, she went from going to attack a deer to running across the woods, running up a mountain and almost killing this hiker. And then she decides, all right, I'm not going to Yeah, so oh, later wow. in the movie when that chasm is suddenly created yep. and the wolves and the vampires are falling into it, they've set up that these are characters that can leap and climb yep. and fly. Yes. And yet, oh no, we're falling into a hole. Yep. We're falling into this chasm. We can't get out of this. And, yeah. I mean, when the rocks fell down on top that was like okay that, would, get that, that. could kill them sure I no, they could, that's why I mean Jacob at least was able to claw onto the side a little bit um, <laughs> the, I also didn't uh, yeah yeah go ahead. I, I also didn't say, understand why all of, like in previous movies it's you know the, everybody's a vampire or everybody's a werewolf and then um, uh, uh, Ashley Green what's her name Alice Alice, yeah. Alice has like uh, they all have to have an extra power. But now, yeah, being movie, immortal and fast and strong. In this movie, they enough. are all superheroes. They all have. There's they, like a girl like who somebody, has electricity out of her hands. There's a guy that has black fog. It's like movie, Stephanie they, Meyer saw X Men. Yes, that's that's exactly, exactly what right it is. Before writing this last part, it is totally pale X Men. It, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. I could not. I was like, why do they all have superpowers now? Oh, uh, well, I mean. And some of the superpowers, I I was I, I almost want to jump to the end because we're talking about superpowers. Bella's superpower at the very very end is scrapbooking. Yeah, like essentially <laughs> is, is she can touch her hand and do a little scrapbook, mental, mental, mental scrapbooking or scrap- mental mental montage. Yeah, yeah, which I love that. That's her oh. power, a mental montage. And he goes, "How did you do that?" And she goes. 
practice. Yeah. What? what? I just took clips from each of the films. I just, <laughs> uh, um, like, it's, it's, it's mostly Final Cut Pro. Uh, but I'm so, glad to know that in the scene with the baby, uh, the toddler, yes. I'm glad to know that you can tear the head off of a toddler and set him on fire <laughs> and still get a PG-13. Right? Nice work, yes. Motion Picture Association. By the way, a baby's head is ripped, ripped off. off of the baby. This movie is PG-13. There is... A, a and they throw him minute, onto the pile of bodies of people that he killed. Sex scene. There is a there is a shot where Bella is clearly orgasming in this movie. Yes, where she is orgasming, and then not ten minutes later, a baby's head is ripped off of its body. PG thirteen. Yeah, I have a problem with the second part much more uh, than the first part. The the decapitation. I don't know if that was set up in the other movies, but holy shit, they go to that well oh. a million times. So much so that at one point, when they're having like a, one of their final fights, I won't talk about it too much, but it's like they're they're really trying to like that pull that head yes. off. Like, ugh, ugh, this is a tough one. Exactly, this is a tough head to get off. Yeah, some heads are easier than others. Oh, to some get just off. pop right off, but some you really <laughs> have to work at. Some are yeah. like, ugh. like there was literally like Bella's on one guy's head and Jacob's like kicking him in the stomach. Like, let's yeah. get this head loose. Let's get it, it loose. Is, there are so many, and there's also the. It's not just decapitations. They rip two guys rip the arms off, arms and then get ripped one off, yeah. person rips the head off, and then they light you on fire. I also don't remember from past movies that just lighting a vampire on fire kills them. Well, I think that they need to. I think uh, you have to remove the head and first? light them on fire. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think By you the have way, to do both. I would like to see someone. Please, if you're out there and you had this get made fan, take protect your neck, the Wu Tang song, and then mash it up with <laughs> the vampires getting their heads ripped off. That's pretty good. That's why I understand it now. Um, but uh, when you when you think, oh, I've seen you know. Not decapitations you know is this next one is there going to be another one yeah then that one girl grabs the oh, dude yes. grabs the dude by inside his mouth oh, and just yeah. tears off the top part of his face <laughs> Yes. It was so, great. It's so violent. There is so okay, violent. But, but, but that guy's a monster, so you can do that to him. So okay, basically, oh that's why God. zombie movies. We that's why zombies can be yes, so well, that's violent. True. Yeah. Um. Just so uh, if you're uh, just if you want to check in on plot. So basically, <laughs> uh, basically they have this immortal baby. The bad guys are coming from them, and Bella and Edward are basically because they want to kill the baby. Exactly. And, and the bad guys are going to come. Uh, it's been determined by I don't know why when yes. the snow is sticky yes. is when they say they're going to come. Why, and, why and everybody would that be seems when they to come? know exactly what day that is? Why well, would because Michael Pattinson Shen- and Arrow, the good guy and the bad guy, are both sort of you know mentalists, so they both kind of know what the other I mean, person's is move what, is going to be. But is that again, really again, another chess testing. reference? But yes. is that true? Is does is our pets like? Does, what is he his says power? at one point? He says, uh, you know, they're going to probably try to take me out first, or he says something yeah, about how that's they're, right, they're right. going to know that I'm going to know what they're going to do. Oh, okay. So they're going to have to take me out first. But or something here's like that. the big issue that I have: Michael Shannon, super powerful, super uh, Sheen, Sheen. Sheen, Michael, uh, he's super fa- Ooh, I powerful. I would have loved it if it was Michael Shannon. Shannon. He would be great. Can't wait for him. Sheen's to pretty good. Sheen Sheen is Michael, Sheen Sheen is, Sheen, Michael Sheen rather is great in this. He's better he than amazing. most Bond he's, villains in this. He's he's yeah. really good, and he has like it's the perfect mix of like Darth Vader. You know, there's a, yeah. a total Darth Vader element, and then like but like real that that beat where they bring the daughter to him and he giggles. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear her strange heart beating. I, I was like, ooh, that's creepy. So I felt like he was like, I'm going to just do this, and yeah. no one told me to do that, and I kept it. I was so I thought that, that was a great moment. Uh, and then also when he was doing fast running, I like that too. Yeah. I like a fast Michael, uh, sh- uh, whatever. Uh, Michael I thought sh- he, he could have been a fast runner, a better fast runner in Midnight in Paris. <laughs> Uh, I would have liked it. I liked when the one. <laughs> I liked when the one guy went uh, <laughs> said, uh, you know, vampires. The werewolf said, vampires are are, are no uh, werewolves. Werewolves are our mortal enemy. Yeah. And then uh, and then Michael Sheen, our arrow, looks at him and kind of does like the uh, you know thing with his finger and his thumb, where it's just like oh, eh, yeah. just a little less of that. Yeah. Like that's you know mm. take it down and a it's, notch. But it's almost like he's saying this isn't Underworld. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the Twilight movie. This isn't Rise of <laughs> the Lycans. <laughs> <laughs> Those movies, they can't stop and talk to each other about their problems, but here we're going to settle it with words. This is also a very bad werewolf vampire franchise, but it's not Underworld. <laughs> Guys, relax. We got it under control. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. All right. So, what was that um, commercial for? Mountain Dew? Yes. Oh, Mountain Dew. I hope big it was for Mountain Dew. Of the show. Um, I was going to say with Michael Shannon, why didn't he just. Oh, Sheen. Sorry. <laughs> Michael Sheen. Why didn't he just come. Right away, the minute he found out about it, he could just run across oh, the yeah, country yeah. and just 
Well, yeah, because, no, we'll do because, it when the snow is sticky. Because he had to give them time <laughs> to, to go all over the world and assemble the United Colors of Benetton witnesses slash warriors. By the way, it's uh, some of these people are like Hunger Game rejects, too. Yes, yes. Like, I felt like they're like, oh, yeah, we got to have like kids who look like Jennifer Lawrence from the Hunger Games. Get them in there. That's yeah, we got to have two. And it's like two people from every country. Yes. Two, two people from every color except for Asians. No Asians. No Asian vampire. Except for that one the guy one who killed kill him quick. Yeah. Get it, rid of that Asian guy because we don't want Asians in our collective of warriors. <laughs> oh mean, my god! And the the Russian dudes. Oh, blew my mind. I was like, those guys. I wrote down. I wrote guys? down at one point. Vladimir and Stefan. Yes. Exclamation point. <laughs> they were I was so excited so about them. Exci- I love them. And even them. at the end of the movie, when it's a happy ending, yeah. they're just kind of like, no, no, you guys, we still got to fucking fight these people someday. <laughs> yeah. And then they just, just and then they just run off yeah. into the woods. But they also say like, we've got to fight these people. And <laughs> their voices are in. Insane. Yeah, it's very funny every time they talk. They are, they are oh, my favorite they are, characters. They are sketch characters. Like I, that, I felt like those characters were being played by Bill Hader and Kristen Wiig. <laughs> like they might as well have been like like SNL characters. They were. Uh, oh, 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 there I wrote down. Oh, I want to talk about the uh, uh, bunk of when when uh, when basically uh, bunk from when, the wire. When shows bunk up. goes, uh, uh, he's like getting her passport so they can like leave the country again. Don't really understand why yeah, they yeah, need those. Yeah, yeah, just fly out of the country, yeah. you crazy flying vampire. I don't understand why a baby needs a passport either. I don't know if that's a real thing. Yeah, no, but, babies need a passport. Um, there was a there was a great thing. Did you see that Jacob's fake name? No, was Jacob Wolf. No. Yes. No way. On his new passport? Yeah, his new thing was Jacob Wolf. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like that was a prop master just going, yeah, Jacob Wolf. What are you talking about? That is crazy. Jacob Wolf was my favorite. I was Uh, so excited to see that. And and, and (laughs) Renezme crazy. Hybrid baby. (laughs) Crazy CGI baby. She's CGI for a. I mean, she's. We, I know we an, talked about it, an but she, hour plus is a CGI child. And like, even when she's playing the piano, it's like, when are they gonna like just? Oh yeah. Why don't they just? Yeah. All right. Why? I mean, everybody. The, the movie is like Peter Facinelli. What's his name? Yeah. Peter yeah. Peter Facinelli. Whatever his He's name the is. The head of the Cullen He's clan. The, yeah. Yeah. Carlisle Cullen, who's like the dad of the Cullen clan. He looks terrible. No, yeah, this His blonde. hair is insane. Why did these Why do they make him blonde? Every vampire decides to bleach their hair. He is a handsome hair. man. Even in the Game of Thrones style era, yeah, they the all girls have bleach are all blonde. blonde yeah. I don't understand. He is a handsome man. He Why does bad. he need to be bl- have fake blonde hair and like it, it, maybe he'd be too much handsome. I don't know. I couldn't if figure he had that his out regular because hair. that's the thing. I remember I read Twilight book 1 Yeah, and that was the thing about the Cullens is that they were so beautiful. They were all like like so beautiful. Yeah, I think they're going for like a uh, on him, like a uh, kind of like uh, you know, uh, but it doesn't Flash look, Gordon kind of. It looks. doesn't look like good on his it looks skin. Terrible. It looks well, like his, pa- his skin's pale, pale too. Pale, that's, the the pa- that's the thing is they pale give them, skin and blonde they hair. They give them fake sexy. blonde hair and fake pale skin, and they look like. Like they look pasty and terrible. I like what they said about the little girl that she, you know, they're speculating that she can't be immortal because she has she has blood and she has a yeah fl- rosy cheeks, rosy cheeks. And then the one uh, the, the one vampire screams artifice. <laughs> I've never heard the word artifice spoken in anger before. It was um, awesome. Yeah. When Alice and the, uh, that guy that she hangs out with, when they show Julian? up, Julian, uh, Julian, when they show up at the uh, f- the f- the final battle, yeah, and, and by we final battle. We should say that it happens halfway through the movie and is the rest of the movie, yes, which except I, for the montage at the which end, which is oh, yeah. great and and, the, and it's really cool. It's a really solid battle. But that, and that's the thing is like so basically what happens is just to get there, um, uh, you know, like the the Vol- Voltaris are yes. coming. They're going to kill Renesme. Um, the Cullens assemble uh, f- warriors 18 from... 18 people. Yeah, 18 vampires. A ragtag gang. Of- a ragtag gang from from all over the world. The John Varvados vampire is my favorite. That's a New Orleans vampire. That's Who is that guy? Lee Pace? Lee Pace. Oh, uh, Lee Pace is my great. My favorite. I loved Alistair, what's his name, who's scruffy and has great clothes. Yes. Uh, they've it's got so the- weird. They suddenly have all these great characters oh, yeah, yeah. in the fifth movie. Yes. yes. Oh, they, yeah. Like, why wait? Why, did, why? And why that last movie? Why was it so, so intimate and boring? Boring. You could like have, they could because, have gotten to some of this shit in that this movie. Is that yeah. movie. By the way, this is the end of that movie. Yeah. Remember, this is. It's I know it's a two parter. Yeah. The but they could have just made the f- that, that movie could have been so half short. An hour. Yeah. The first half hour oh, of this movie yeah. could have been the whole. First oh, we didn't need any of that. So the last movie was so fucking stupid because it was stalling. Yeah. For this. Yeah. Anyway, so Harry so Potter it worked here. It did not. So it becomes a. Oh my god, I loved. Okay, let's not get into that. Um, <laughs> 
So, oh my God, but that's the one point I wanted to make was that Michael Sheen's left-hand man is totally Draco Malfoy. Oh, <laughs> like, yes. The, like, every bad guy needs a henchman who is, like, bleached yeah. blonde and, like, He's the one Weasley. that yells artifice. Yeah, he's the one that yells <laughs> artifice, yeah. Anyway, so the whole movie is le- the lead-up to this battle where uh, the Cullens have their 18 vampires their and, and all of the werewolves. Yes. Uh, and they're going to fight on the on this chessboard, on this w- w- expanse Big, of snow. Uh, they're going to fight the Voltaris who have come. Um, and, and and for the first 10 minutes, it is just talking. It's a lot of talking, uh, and it's a lot of, like, mis- like, hey, look, you think that she's this. Let's communicate. Yep. There's a lot of, like, this stuff should have been settled over the phone. Yeah. But, by the way, this And is there's just- a lot of wordless communication. There's a lot of communicating done by between people by just touching each other. Yes. Oh, by the way, that, that's what I wanted to say about the girl. The girl, the uh, Renesme, Nessie, or whatever her name is, she... Oh, you gave my daughter a nickname? Hey, no, 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 it's worse. It's worse. You <laughs> Gave my daughter the, the, a nickname that, for the Loch Ness monster. Oh, is yeah. what she immediately says the first time he says Nessa. Like yeah. that's yeah. what you jump to when you gave her the fucked up Renesme yeah. name yeah. to begin yeah. with. Yeah. Nessie is a little bit nicer. I like Nessie. <laughs> oh but God. you named him after the Loch Ness monster. That's she what, screams at him. You know what's weird is that the Cullen's mother is named Esme. Yeah. So yes. that's why it's in there. I think. So it's uh, is this? So, but another I, could, I don't Nesme? know. There's like another character Rizzo named Renee. Is this like Renesme. Like as re. Like it's, Nesme. It's Esme again. Re, re Nesme. Nesme. I was trying to figure that out. I was like, this is uh, this is confounding. I um, think it's just they named it. Well, they keep on saying about sort Rene- of after her. Well, they keep on saying with Renesme, they're like, this is how she communicates by touching someone in the face, and then they see the images in her head. They but see she, that she's not. They, what they see is they all go. She always to prove she's not an immortal. Yes. So like, what is she showing them what, that proves what, yeah, she's yeah, not I an immortal? What I was gonna say is, what is she doing she when could she be touches lying. their faces? Yeah. <laughs> And, and also, why don't we ever understand? And why does she ever say talk to the hand? When Alice has a vision, when Alice has a vision, we go in and we see Alice's no, vision. She don't see what Renez made. Only, yeah. only once. Only once. We did see. when? When she touched Bella's face for the first time. Oh, I missed that. And, oh, and she's, she sees the first memory of Bella giving birth to her. Oh, but I But meanwhile, that. they go, this is how she communicates. Oh, that's supposed to be what they, she shows. Well, no, that still doesn't prove whether she's immortal or not. No, yeah. Well, to me, I feel like she also can speak. She talks a she lot talks, throughout the movie. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So that's not the she's way she communicates. She's a real fucking chatterbox. Yeah. <laughs> it's, she's just showing people stuff. All right, so they get uh, the one other thing. Like Zafrina takes, uh, shows Edward, takes Edward to oh, Pandora at yeah. one point. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> the Avatar world. Uh, the, but the, I love that the Volturi, they come, they come out in March, and all I want to talk about is that they are in such a long line. I just wonder how long they were in that line. Like, okay, yeah. so we're going to get to this field, guys. We need to look impressive. So really spread out. Really? Yeah. Like, they did not come in a tight group. They are so spread out. They are, I would say, like, they're like three city blocks long. It looks like there's <laughs> four walking. times as many of them when oh, they're yeah. approaching exactly. and when they're talking. But then when the fighting starts, it's kind of a one-on-one it's one battle. Yeah, it's not too like, hard. Like, there's never two people ganging yeah. up on one person for the most part. Maybe one of Except their... Except for the good guys. The Maybe. good guys are better at teaming up and making shit happen. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, Kristen Stewart develops this... Uh, Shield. Power. Shield power, where she's like, uh, so she's individually shielding people instead of she's the strongest person there. Yeah. She should be fighting instead of standing there staring like, at someone else, and trying to keep them in, th- intently <laughs> staring at them, while, uh, so that she can protect them from. Uh, it's so learning stupid. to do them both at the same By time. By the way, here's the other thing: is like they they set up all of these characters having superpowers yeah. that are pretty interesting, which never get used. No, like Black Smoke guy never uses Black Smoke he in the starts, fight. He starts to use. The black smoke and, and Michael and, Sheen's like no 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 now yeah no, no. And, and, and I don't even really know what that black smoke does Electricity girl never anyway. zaps somebody. It blinds, it blinds them and disorients. They're like yeah. they're yeah. blinded and they can't move or something. Yeah. Um, um, and like no, they introduce like all the of these people Fanning with great Elle Fanning. Yes, I liked that. Oh, which one was it? I think Elle it was Dakota. Oh, it was Dakota. Oh, Dakota. Yeah, she's like pain. pain. Yeah, and that pain. person experiences pain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I liked that too. But I really I thought she said Bane. Bane. And then, and then, and then, oh, and then Robert Pattinson falls you down. Into the- <laughs> <laughs> Gotham will fall. You I must fight the vampires. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, when Alice and what's his name show up to that battle sequence scene, yes. when they're all standing around, when they show up, th- it takes them like 30 seconds to walk across the snow. We yes. watch them walk so far. Why are they, they can walk that fast. same character in a scene in the beginning of the movie goes, boom, to get to her yes. from across the living room yeah. but when they're that far away oh, let's walk it let's, let's walk, keep it let's, dramatic this is like the academy real, awards we're yeah. coming out to make let's a make presentation let's make a real entrance <laughs> by the way I, I, this is where I got really fed up with the movie because I was like 
are you kidding me? I feel like every movie I see, it's like, there's going to be a battle, there's going to be a battle, and there's no battle. Yeah. And I was like, is this what's going to happen? There's not going to be a battle. They walk across a thing. He, they, convince, they convince the main bad guy. They go, hey, guess what? You were wrong. And he's like, okay, yeah, I was wrong. And then, watch out. The battle that you've been waiting for explodes, and it, all, it starts with one of the best. And it's better than any of the, like, because in the previous Twilight movies, when things start to seem to get action-y, yeah, they, they were always just, like, wolves running around and, and jumping. And poorly shot. And, yeah, and nobody, nobody's actually getting killed. No. And in this movie, suddenly, well, all of these characters the are getting first, their heads torn off. The first moment is, you know, uh, Michael Sheen and uh, Peter Fascinelli running at each other. They jump in the air, and then fucking Michael Sheen just rips his head off midstream. Yeah. Oh, no, Michael, no, no, it, it, they start by walking slowly oh, at each yeah. other, though. Yeah. And yeah. then they Sheen, suddenly both yeah. decide to speed up. Yeah, Michael Sheen lands. Yeah. Raises up, and he's holding Peter Fascinelli's head. And you're like, whoa! That was when I was okay, like, so oh, Okay, so now we're into shit. some heavy spoiler so shit. So now right let's now. spoil it he's up. He's the first one to go. Yep. Oh, yeah. And it's probably because he looks so weird and with his, that blonde hair. Yes, I think and his yeah. wife is distraught. Yes. Well, everyone's distraught because their leader has just been yeah. killed. So now it's like, all right. The gloves but, oh, are but off. what we should say before that happens. Yes. Because we, <laughs> we're just going to give everything away, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. We're going to give yeah, away. Nothing before down. that happens, that Alice does the long walk up with the other guy, with Schmengi. Yeah. And then they Julian. get there. Julian. Close. And yeah. then they, oh, yeah, she she says, she's got the ability to like, she can, you know, she can, also she can show. see the future and show people the future by, by holding their hand. Well, he, no, that's no. Michael Sheen's power to hold hands and see what's in to their brain. To see brains. what the future is yes, in so their brain. She had see seen what's something. in her mind. In her mind, it happens to be the future. Yeah. Yes, yes. So she goes up to him and she's like, let me prove to you that we do not need to fight today, that everything's going to be cool, yeah. uh, <laughs> that, that this girl is not going to grow up and be a problem. You know, and then she takes his hand, Hold his hand. and then uh, they continue to talk for a little bit. And then she like steps away from him and uh, she, turns, says, she turns and looks at everybody and says, now, like she's like, uh, you know, decided that that's this will be a great moment to just everybody suddenly pounce. Well, she says she says to him. You don't. It doesn't care what you see. You're not going to change your mind. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're yeah. not going to change your mind anyway. Anyway, which is a badass then move. She turns around and says, "Now." now. She kind of whisper mouth now, now even though the they're all is, standing really the far away. The other thing is, people whisper to each other from hundreds of yards away. Well, yeah, they even have conversations here. way across that, so far that from field. each other. Anyway, so then she say, does that. She says, "Now," and then she totally badass. Kicks Michael Sheen in the face. Oh yes, and he goes. Fl I thought this was awesome. It's yeah, really cool. Amazing. It's really cool, and it sets off this amazing battle sequence yeah. where pretty much every, almost all the major characters, except for Bella and Edward and Jacob. Jacob, Jacob the Wolf, by the way, as soon as they start the fight or they're yeah. about to, uh, runs off with Es uh, Ren Renesme yeah. on, on his back. So yes. he, so he runs off. Because by the that's way, the plan. I don't understand. This is when the big battle sequence, like when wolves are dying and stuff I'm like I don't know who that is like, yeah. I have no connection yeah yeah I don't know which don't, one that's supposed to be I think yeah. he just sort of recruited a bunch of kids that we no, don't, don't he, he know did, for the but most there was part. also right. Leah and Seth and like yeah, his friend wolves yeah. were there I was even laughing because thinking about how What's his name? The actor that plays Jacob, uh, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Lautner. Lautner about Who, by how, the way, has gotten better. About sure, but he's the character's annoying. Yeah. It's, not, it's not necessarily his fault, but 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 he's always smiling and those super white yeah. teeth, yeah. and oh, it's yeah. just like, what the fuck are you doing here? And uh, <laughs> an Abercrombie why, model. Like when he shows up, when he hangs out with uh, Renesme at the dad's house, Charlie's yeah. not like, why? We don't need the fucking Wolfman no, hanging this around. Is the bane of their existence. <laughs> the Bella pain, and Edward. Bane of their the existence. Ba they're like Bella and Edward are in love. They have a child, and they ought to be followed by this fucking dummy. Because yeah, yeah, and Edward's lives. always just kind of shaking wait, his head but, like, but, but, but oh, the, the Jacob. The presumption is, the presumption is that when Renesme is of age, yeah. she will be his? Well, that is that the thing? Because I mean, at the end, that kind seems of, to be what's happening at the end. So Because no, he said to, he says to Jacob, he goes, can I call you dad? Yeah! And he's like, no. But basically, and then Alice's premonition is that she, as Renesmee is all grown up, and like she and Jacob and Bella and Edward are a foursome. Yeah. Like are a quartet. And I was like, by the yeah, way, Jacob is blasting this little girl. And by the way, Jacob doesn't age. 
Like Jacob yeah, in that flash forward too. is not older. So does Wolf yeah. not age? I don't know. Well, it's not that long of a flash forward. Yeah, because oh, she, she grew up to so as big as she's going to be oh, okay, in seven within years. Within a couple years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah by yeah. age seven. Like in be. the end credits, it says seven year old Renesmee, okay. and it's played by some. Then that's some girl. They didn't go crazy with the CGI on no, that, no, that's that adult, a, like girl, adult but she, girl. But she did look like the act, like an old, creepily like an older version of her. that was a CGI head? I thought that was a CGI head. I don't think so. Some actress gets credit. Oh, okay. I thought it was a CGI head. But it could be some actress who was just standing there and they put a CGI. Uh, face on her but uh, yeah so anyway so it's, an, it's a very impressive fight scene almost nothing really to make fun of no it's in the fight great. itself it's like, really well no, done no, I mean like we it's said the head, I mean head rips galore I mean you think you're gonna get tired of it you don't get tired of it there's a chasm people are falling Ooh, I loved the um, and it, it, it perfectly like it like, and it is I mean like it really is a chess scene yeah because the pawns go first yeah you know like it, I mean obviously a big sacrifice with uh, Carla Cullen but then the people that start getting killed are like pawns are like less. Yeah. There's a people. point where Michael Sheen's just standing with yeah. his, with his main henchman just watching everything happen. Yeah. Like yeah. not even participating. Exactly. Like why wouldn't Edward or Bella run at that guy? Yeah. Let's that kill was, that guy first. That was a kind of the issue. It just seemed like come on guys. Like, see I liked it. I liked that you had lots of little battles yes. with not that interesting people that were still cool and, just and then like real people started getting killed. Yeah. yeah yeah. And I was like whoa. Dakota Fanning gets it pretty bad. By Dakota the way, Fanning gets it pretty I, Dakota bad. Dakota Fanning I the think is my Black favorite guy. character. She just is so oh, fucking yeah. evil in this movie. Oh, totally. She says like two words too. And I like the cut. I thought she was good. It's, but then it's I weird this the, um, movie series came into its own now. Yeah. yeah. And it's the a last, little late. In the last 30 <laughs> minutes, it's like, yes. I, I loved the, the guy, because you also think like these guys have been alive for thousands and thousands of years. Yeah. I loved the one guy that they come, they come and they kill the one guy who's like a, a, the older vampire. Yeah. And he goes, he says something like, at last. Like yeah. he wants yeah, yeah. to like, die. Take me apart. He wants to die so bad and he just can't be killed. Yeah. So they kill him and he just says, at last. And then die. I was like, that's great. He wanted what? to die because he had a real Michael Bolton thing going yeah. on. And Wait, probably what, people teased him all the time. What happened to those other, the, the vampires we like, uh, the, the, the weird uh, ethnic ones, where they're like, they... They just kind of went catatonic in their castle for a long time. Is that what they said? They go who the the two you know the the freaking frack of the vampires. What were their names? Uh, oh, the Vladimir Russians? and yeah, Stefan. Vlad- yeah, yeah, Vladimir and Stefan. They, they those two were like, we just hung out in our castles in a catatonic state until they burnt our castles down. Like that. Oh, I don't. Remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they so said, they and they said, they, they sat very still. That's and they, they said, said they probably did us a favor. Yeah, they were prisoners in their castles, and then their castles were set on fire. Oh, okay. And they're like, they probably did us a favor because that's what motivated us to come now and try to kill them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I they go, we're going to return the what? favor. And it's like, well, that's not return it. It wasn't a favor, and why would you return so it? So stupid. So they should have said something about paying it forward. There, this is that, fight they, scene, uh, the fight scene is amazing. And you're and I'm laughing. I'm psyched. It's, everything is going great. It's like great. the beach at Normandy in the beginning of uh, uh, Saving, Saving Private Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. It is fucking intense. I love it. I it's love really it. entertaining. And, and then, then, and then, and then, then, and then, and then guess what? Uh, uh, <laughs> guess it's what? Such a, it's, what so, it's so great. Great and such a burn at the it same is. time. I was See? elated and fucking angry. I was yeah. furious. I was simultaneously. But it, it was pretty cool the way it, so it the tricked point, you. Yes, yes. At the point where literally everybody is, is dead, dead and Michael Sheen is killed. They rip off his head. They burn him alive. That's Bella the and Edward kill him. The yes. last shot of the battle is a close-up great. of his face seeing in his eyes we can see the torch coming to burn his yes. decapitated head. And it's great. Because it's like a chicken probably. You're probably alive for a few yeah. seconds after you and get your head torn off. And then you, it pulls out really quick and we are revealed to be, go ahead, that it is all just in that moment where they held hands. Michael where Alice, Sheen, yeah. And where, uh, where was her name? Alice. Alice. Alice and Michael Sheen were holding hands. She's this, still holding his hand. So yeah. it's she showed him what would have happened if he decided so to have the, the fight. The entire battle is her premonition of what would happen. Exactly. What would happen. It didn't really happen. And you're and yeah. everyone's alive. Who shot JR? She's got an amazing yeah. premonition to show the guy every different possible angle of the fight. Oh, yeah. and every <laughs> every 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 person that got killed. Like why not just show him? Oh, you're going to get your head ripped off if nope. you do yeah. this right now. <laughs> I will say that as much as it is like a crazy twist, and that I I kind of liked it in the sense it's like it's what you want. It's like. You got to see everyone in the movie get killed, yeah. and everybody. Do I was pretty violent. happy, and, and that then, 
that they were all getting killed. Oh, I was, I was, I was, I was like, this is some heavy fucking shit. I was shit. blown like, away. Like, I was yeah. kind of bummed that they're now, oh, now they're not really exactly. dead. Exactly. Except for off. the one girl that they killed before the fighting began. Maggie yeah. Grace. Maggie, Maggie Grace. Grace. Maggie, Who, Grace. Maggie Grace, is she ever going to be in anything where she isn't killed or kidnapped oh, or yeah. attempted? Maggie, Maggie Grace but cannot Maggie... catch a break. <laughs> Maggie Grace From lost... fucked up. She fucked up because she just saw something on a cliff yeah. and she deserved the death. Wait, she... did she jump <laughs> in the ocean? Yeah. And she swam what? back. Yeah, why? She can why also she, she can also ocean? fly away. Like, to me, though, this is the, the most flawed thing. She's about wearing the mo- great clothes. Why not just run home? The most flawed thing about this movie is simply that Maggie Grace sees Renezme catch like a uh, you know a, a piece of snow, a snowflake. Yeah, she flies up into the air and gets a snowflake. Exactly, and she makes the assumption without any knowledge whatsoever that. This is a, an, a you know an immortal child or what a bad yep. kid, and then runs back, tells Michael Sheen. Michael Sheen's like, okay, let's go kill him. Yeah, that, like, she doesn't that, even tell him. She just shows up, and he like touches her hand and goes, yeah. oh, okay, got we're it. Gonna, we got to go take care of this. Now, meanwhile, all of this could have been averted if she just hung around and said, hey, is that an if immortal kid? If anybody in this movie would just have a they conversation, they even yell to her. They're yeah. like, Irina, hey, yeah, they come on, let us back. explain. Oh, who is that? Oh, I got to jump in the water. I think it's our cousin Irina. Yeah, they have this super <laughs> eyesight, but they're standing there going, who could that? Be. By the way, uh, I mean, being a vampire, where you get to experience it firsthand when Bella's first turn in the beginning, you miss this, Jason. It just seems kind of annoying. Everything just zooms in, like really intense. Like you look at a bed, and it's like boom, 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 and you see like the thread oh, count. God. You look at the floor, boom, 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 and you see like every like. It's like I don't want that. That seems a little bit too much. No, yeah, thank and that's you. how she could find when the clue was in the book. That's yes. how she found that particular book so fast. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> like I was like, there's books everywhere in this house. How is she gonna like, find that I couldn't that believe book. how many books there were. At first, I was thinking, why would they need so many books? And I thought, oh, they are immortal. So <laughs> <laughs> probably a good hobby to read. We didn't really it, to read get into everything. the book, but the book is whatever. Oh, oh there's cares? a yeah. Alice leaves a clue and a who book, cares? and it's yeah, who cares? It's, it's not important. It's kind of a cute little. But it's all a flash, twist. a flash forward. Everyone leaves alive, and everyone yeah. goes off to have a very happy life. I wanted to tell the listeners that because if anyone's thinking because we're talking about how great the battle sequence is if anyone's started thinking oh wow they they really did it i'm gonna go see a good twilight movie yeah. no you're gonna still see the same crazy stuff for the most part that you've avoided through the last four yeah and this one you may be just livid when you find out that all these characters are not didn't actually die i, well, I gotta say you that leave. they were dying i, I loved, loved it too i was like were... i was like this is badass that they are killing really everybody. fucking killing all these but people but don't you like i i felt i felt like i left the theater more psyched I, mean, I went home. I was like, "Yeah, that and was." And how good. long do you think they pull off that in the the last book? Oh, I can only imagine. Do you, right? Can you do it? It's page after oh, page yeah. after yeah. page of all these people getting killed in this amazing battle, and then and turns out she was still holding ends with Arrow. I feel like that would be in a book form. It would be more of a fuck you because I feel like there's more. Oh time my god, like, yes. Whereas this, like, because you, I mean, I felt it when Peter Fascinelli, uh, Pas- Fascinelli got his head ripped off. I was like, oh no, not him. Oh yeah. Wait, when did you cry? Oh, yeah. I, I, I cried. <laughs> I cried in the battle sequence when who somebody died or somebody was watching somebody die. And I got like choked up for a second. I was I can't remember what it was. Oh, Alice was watching. Alice Alice watches Julian die. Yeah. Right? But no, then she's trying to go after Oh fuck, what was it? It was when they people were falling into the cre- cre- crevice that um ethnic guy creates when the he guy punches that, the earth the guy yeah. that can uh, uh, control the elements, the elements yeah. control the elements and people were falling into that thing and I got like choked up when uh, who fell in and somebody was watching somebody was watching oh, somebody oh, they oh, love when, when the when the wolf was falling backwards and was going oh, oh I did yeah. it was right, like that was, oh that was that was I'm sad dying. I got sad oh it yeah it would make it but 10 times better if we knew who that wolf was I yeah. don't know I just which wolf like, was it I don't know who the wolf was but th- that is when I got like emotional was during that sequence of the fight yeah, when people were falling like, into the thing, and people were watching the people they loved die. Uh, yeah, you it know, a, it was it like a, it was yeah, her watching it. her watching Julian die, and then somebody else watching someone else they loved die. I was like, whoa! I got, I got, I got bummed. I did like that. Um, yeah, that I guess. I guess yeah. Look, life, <laughs> but real for, fragile, real fragile, it's super fragile. <laughs> uh, I did like that. Uh, it's fragile, guys. It's like, I mean, fragile. And when I alluded to it earlier, it was Michael Sheen's head that was really hard to rip off. I mean, oh, yeah. they really struggled with that head. That was a uh, oh, yeah, yeah, wrench, yeah. We're gonna get this thing. Is it, it like, righty tidy, lefty loosey? Yeah. <laughs> 
I, uh, uh, for people that are thinking that still haven't seen it, listen to all of this and are still <laughs> thinking about going, just to let you know how easy it'll go down. The opening titles are three minutes long, and the ending titles are fifteen minutes long. Yes, it's a if big. you get up and leave as soon as the end titles start, although you'll miss a funny thing. They go back and show Anna Kendrick from. Uh, yes. Oh yeah. yeah. And and she's she's telling the guy staying next to her he's got something on his lip. Yeah. It, like doesn't it fit. It's like yeah. such a comedic like, what little that? grace note in yeah. the middle of this very serious. Yeah. It, in memoriam montage Telenovela. yeah and it's uh so so the total credits on the movie 18 minutes of the movie is devoted to credits wow and the movie is less than two hours long yes by, oh, yeah. by a few minutes so you're basically watching <laughs> i mean you're really just watching about an hour you just and have to watch movie. some silly setup yep. that's got some interesting moments come late like jason did and, <laughs> and, and, and by the way he missed a good, good part though oh, i yeah. did miss i did miss the you almost missed eating the power the hug <laughs> And I will, the and yeah. almost eating a hiker. It is worth it. And I, when she I when she pounces on a, a cougar, starts to. I was going to say this. I love oh, that. Yeah. They, I love that they like got, a sexy older I love lady? that they got Peta off their back oh, because yeah. she's looking at a deer and thinking about eating that because yeah. she's, she's got her bloodthirst. Right. And then a cougar comes out of nowhere and is about to get the deer. Is it so Samantha she, from Sex in the City? <laughs> <laughs> so oh, she baby. saves. <laughs> so she saves the deer by pouncing on and eating the cougar. Oh yeah. But it's pretty sweet seeing cute yes. Kristen Stewart just dive on a cougar. And, and start a, macking on its neck I've never while felt, it's going. It's like cool. clearly in like a t- like a tight she's balloon not, dress. Like she even like, kind of does like a take. Like she's for a second, she's like, "Is this? Can I really do yeah. this?" Okay. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, I will say that cool. I've never really found Kristen Stewart to be like super sexy. I found this movie. She really like stepped it up a notch. She kind of like. Really like well, the thing is, she's always been and cute, but she's, this, all, she's she, also eighteen. Is maybe why you don't. Yeah, yeah maybe, we've yeah, also talked about this true. in the past. Of like Bella in the previous movies, has been absolutely powerless to yes. the men in her life. Yeah, like they they this dominate is, her. Yeah. And in this movie, this is her Snow White and the Huntsman. It really yeah. is. And you know what's so creepy about it is that it is like the ne- the story is basically once you get married. And give yourself to a man sexually, and he turns you into a vampire. <laughs> then you can be a strong woman. Yeah. You so know, once before you, that, once... no. Before that, no. Do whatever the men are telling you to do. But once you get married, you are a strong woman. Stronger. Stronger than woman. all the men. Yeah, yeah stronger like, than all the men. She's physically stronger than she all the men. She beats She's mentally stronger. She's like. Like she always knows thing. what to do yep. and by why, the way, why I, to do it. When she does do that arm wrestling thing, which is such a funny, like over the top, weird moment. Literally over the top. Literally over the top. <laughs> then she, I just love that she's like, like you said this, Doug. She starts beating up that rock. Like, yeah. yeah blah, 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 and she's like, it starts jackhammering a rock. Yeah. Like, you know, like, yeah. Like, so weird. She's very, very excited about her uh, powers in this. And of course, there's no, you don't have to sit through the credits because since there's no more movies, yeah. theoretically, I think there will be more movies. When they're saying that it's definitely over. Really? Even if what's her name doesn't want to write them, Stephanie Meyer, just they could just it. still make. There's so many characters uh, in that movie that yeah. would be a great I movie. Follow I bet to they follow. make. Pace. I Lee bet Pace Lee is, Pace is great... an interesting. I bet they do a TV series something. That is, oh wow, that something doesn't, so that they don't have to have uh, Kristen Stewart or. R- but Robert if they Benson. did another movie, it could be Renee's sure. May, who's a hot young girl. Yes. Tell me more. You know, hire some actress to play her. <laughs> yeah, so great. But at, at, there, so there's no. Uh, you know, there was two wacky scenes at the end of uh, the last yes. the last one that you had to sit through the credits to see but in this case just no you can wacky. just get up and leave after you see Anna Kendrick is what I think or stay until you see Kristen Stewart it's, she gets, it's like watching the bows at the end of a it really, really long it play it was kind of fun it to really watch everybody is like get out I wish the audience them. would have clapped yeah. for the ones they liked yeah. the crowd yeah. we saw it with was kind of stiff dead. on that but, uh, but they should have done at the very end <laughs> just a scene of not <laughs> Not what's his name? Not, not Tom, not Tom Scarrett? Scarrett on a boat. Oh, catching shame. a trout. That would have been amazing. Oh, what if? What if? It like catching a, a trout. trout. Go, we're having so much fun. I wonder what they're doing right now. Or something. <laughs> it would even be better if he catches a trout and then Michael Sheen just flies in and rips off his head and then flies out. <laughs> that would have been awesome. That would have been a great twist. Maybe that's a spinoff. I did think Billy there Burke, was going to be a Billy uh, Burke and his Native American <laughs> wife on fishing trips. Just, that's just it. That's it. The woman knows her trout. He oh, says. Oh yeah. Oh, the movie. Jacob made Renesmee a friendship bracelet too. I thought that was really uh, beautiful and sweet. In the fl- so okay, so that's the thing. At the end of the movie, everybody's okay, and Alice has a vision. We see Alice's vision of the future, and it's Edward and Bella who are going to be together forever. They say, yeah. and then it's Ugh. a grown Renesmee and Jacob, and the presumption is that he is 
just stone cold bone zoning this little I girl. Yeah. I don't know if that's there, but I, I no, appreciate he def- it. He, he they're definitely, just, they're just he hanging def- out. No, no, no. Because he said, can I call you dad? Yeah. And then Jacob goes, no. Like, yeah. it's like, because he's like, he's going to eventually be married to him. That's, that's why I think it was so creepy when he imprinted on the kid. Now, isn't that like a weird, like, now listen, this is going to be, I might say something very inflammatory yeah. right now. Is this like a weird Mormon, like kind of like you are betrothed to someone? Is this like a, like a Mormon thing that, that is being appropriated for this mythology? Like, or I, is this truly just I craziness? Think, I think it was in a way to keep these people together. He because, could still be just watching over her. He has to watch over her for the rest of his life. Why would you fuck? Make up dad. Just because he's making a stupid joke. Uh, you know, like we're all a family now. You know what I, I mean? I like you guys so. are the parents, sort of. You guys, hit up the Earwolf forums and let us know. <laughs> yeah, let us know what you react. think about this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure people are going to write really long uh, I feel like Twilight people us. must know. I, I, kind of, they're like, I kind of getting weird about maybe wanting to read the books. Because that was also an interesting... The books are I, terrible. I bet they are, but that was an interesting... But they're probably simple and easy for someone like they're me to so read. They're so easy to read. But, but I think that... I read the first two. I like the way they worked in pages of the book at the end. Yeah, And little passages, and especially like the very last line from the books I agree. appears on the after. screen I like that like too. you know the little girls or anyone wim- grown women oh, yeah. who love those books it was like forever it's such a yes. oh everybody such fucking a good, creamed their jeans a good ending yeah, I, like, I was the same way about uh, Dark Knight Rises you yep. know like yeah. I didn't love it all the way through but I was I found that ending very like satisfied. emotionally very satisfying, satisfying. It was wait, like, wait 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 Wait, wait, wait. The Michael Caine in the restaurant ending? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Even though it's ridiculous. Oh, see, I didn't like that very much. I, oh, I, really? I, I, You know what I wished? I just wished we had stayed on Michael Caine smiling and not reversed yeah. and seen yeah. that like, they were Yeah, like then you'd know. Because seeing of... them doing that, why would those two characters just sit around yes. at a cafe? Yeah, exactly. Like, they're not an old fucking man who's glad to not be a butler for a... Uh, exactly. A lot <laughs> of people say that that was his vision. It was not a real moment. What do you mean? Yeah, people that, argue people that argue that's that just that what he was kind of imagining he was seeing. See. Like that Batman oh, is really dead. What? No, that's that's nonsense. <laughs> that's nonsense. It, that that goes against every. By the way, no, no, spoiler no. alert on Batman: The Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> that's crazy. Um, I think we're late enough on that one. Yes. That- there no was one, one should be mad. At there was one you, thing by the way, the I will say this: if you want to read books, read the Hunger Games books because those no, books they get so bad. are great. They're so bad after book the fir- three. Book three is not great, but it is still book three is bo- all three books of Hunger Games are a billion times better than the Twilight. Okay, books. well, well, that's a that yeah. might be true. But the, and movies, the best of all the of Hunger these are Games the Harry movies, books. the Hunger Games movies can only get better from the first one. Agree. The first one didn't really I, well, get the, it the done. Plots, I didn't think the plots get wonky. They get really wonky. I but feel I think like. that I feel like the I feel the guy they got to do the first one wasn't wasn't, oh, wasn't, agree. wasn't the man. I actually for think it. the director of this, uh, Bill Condon or whatever, did a great job. That fight scene was one of the best because yep. again they they cheap out on action. It was cool, but they do a lot. It, it's it's Didn't Bill it's Condon? a weird movie. I mean, he did direct the fact that there were all these weird scenes with the yeah, weird with right. the weird melodramatic music in and the background. So much and, CGI. Yeah, so, and, like, I mean, crazy. and like they didn't, they didn't go outside to no. shoot this movie. There's at all. so many moments in this movie that you're just sort of like there doesn't even need to be CGI. No! Watch that be real um, be real footage. Watch that be real. And uh but the uh <laughs> I love I love stuff like when the group of vampires that are coming to visit and they're all happy they all come flying down the dr- the the you know they come shooting in from the woods really fast and then they go to regular speed and then walk like the last you know yeah, uh, why so, why are they super speeding all the way to their destination like why do they do that it's uh, so oh, weird I also thought that they that you were talking about incorporating the book. Um, they do incorporate the book and sometimes poorly like they just take like obviously a passage from the book where Bella's talking about what she's thinking and stuff and they just kind of drop it in as like oh, VO VO yeah. but it's not like VO that you're used to in a movie it's like yeah because it doesn't it, it doesn't, doesn't start really at the fit. beginning yeah no. it's, it's just, just like it's, it, it, it's, it's like a random middle pop in nowhere somebody like, said we gotta explain what's going on yeah, right like, here so we have, this is confusing we had friends come from all over to help <laughs> like wait us. a second when there's VO yeah. in the middle it really is just a mo- one moment in the movie there's a VO for yeah. no reason no there's two there's two oh. and I noticed that there's two moments of VO that are like and they, it, by the way you didn't need them you didn't need them she's explaining all. stuff we just saw happen yeah the best line of them all might have been when she says to Jacob <laughs> you think you have some sort of moronic wolfy claim on her <laughs> she was so angry at Jacob 
Uh, because he's they, they, annoying. Like, but she should have been angry at him in every other movie. Like, go away. Yeah. Like, I'm with this but other the thing guy. That's weird I is that like, Jacob now isn't interested in Bella at all because no. he only wants to bones on the baby. He's he got, just watching he's out like, for her. I understand why Bella was attracted to him in the last movie because it was uh, yeah. Renezme kind of like yeah. There was a moment her junk yeah. stimulated. Yeah, yeah. There was a moment where she was treating him like yeah, like he was. The father, well, guys. I think we did it. Uh, I, was I think sad we not did. To, sad not to have June here. I'm sure. Well, I feel like June needs to like come in for like a mini episode. I almost just feel like, to like talk about this. I, I feel like talk I was, about like, what we said about it. Yeah. I want to have. I was actually thinking about that last night. I was like, I want to have her just watch it and then come in and just record. Just yeah. a, and add this as an addendum. So maybe that will. Uh, but we all said happen. the bell is very strong in this one, and finally, yeah. Yeah. finally oh, yeah. does things she, that she, she should really have been doing all along. Yeah. And um, I just want to say that I'm very excited to. Uh, you know, if you're in the Los Angeles area, I am definitely going to do a, a Benson movie interruption. Oh, for this. great! Of oh, this. Great. Yeah, because I, I, you I'd do see it again. Oh, I'd see it again. I'd see it again anyway. Do a well, we already did one oh, did. back oh, okay. back in the uh. back in the day because it comes. You know, it last year's came out at Thanksgiving also. So then in January, because you know, essentially with the big movies, we have to kind of wait for them to be like hit second run theaters, yep. and mm-hmm. then we can rent it from the studio for a reasonable price, and then sit there and make fun of it. So if you're in LA. Gotta you know, check you, it out. You can maybe, One of my you favorite can maybe, shows in LA. You can maybe wait. You can maybe wait for... Uh, that's a good call. And see it that yeah, way. That's not bad. <laughs> it's so good. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll, I'll try to get uh, you guys to, uh, oh, to participate. God, I'll see it again. Um, all right. That is the, our episode. We will see you all soon. <laughs> all right. Bye. 